Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can send 6750 DMs every single day with X outreach, okay? You can use the same strategy to send even more DMs, but I would say 200,000 DMs per month are enough for most of the people watching this. But how does it actually work? So here is a step-by-step -step process that you can use to actually follow this. I will go over every single step in the next, in the next minutes. So if you want to send 6750 DMs per day, you will need 50x accounts, each sending 450 DMs per day. So first thing, we will have to buy those accounts, they are really cheap, we will just buy them for like $3 per account or something. Then we need to buy proxies. Why we need to buy proxies? Because we need each account on different IP address because we don't want to get banned because if you know if, if you do it outreach on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere on Twitter, you need to have those accounts or different on different IP addresses if you are doing outreach because otherwise it's just suspicious if you if they see that you are sending thousands of DMs from one IP address you can get banned. So that's why we use proxies to stay safe. And then we need some anti-detect brow anti browser like GoLogin that will actually enable us to open more browsers. Uh, with the accounts on each proxy. I will go over that soon. And then we'll just create 15 profiles on GoLogin and and add different proxy to each profile. Then we will just lo log in those accounts, set up those accounts like profile pictures, names, bios, tweets, and then you just need to wait. We will verify those accounts with SMS PVA. I will go over that. And then we just connect them to Xreacher and start those campaigns. So then with the Xreacher, what we, we can do is that just connect those accounts and start the campaigns and it will be send us, sending out DMs that we want on autopilot basically. So then uh, if I go to one of one of the accounts that I have, uh, you can then see like all, all, all of those DMs are just sent sent out with those out with, with this automation. So yeah, we will go over everything in the next few minutes. So let's start with buying those X accounts. Where do you actually buy? What, I know we are maybe thinking, why just don't I create those accounts? Because you need to have old accounts, some accounts that are already aged. Uh, because if you create new account, it is suspicious that you start sending out DMs right away with it. So I use this website, uh, Books Account Buy. So I just buy their aged accounts, 2000 to 2000, uh, 2011 to 2018. And here is just option 10 and 20 accounts. So you can choose that or that. Or if you just want 15, as uh, I'm showing in this video, then you can just message this guy here, just start the chat and just message him that you want 15 accounts and you can then pay with card or anything. Okay, so here, just buy those accounts. After you buy it, you will receive them day, day after in your email. So that's step one. Step two is buy those proxies. Uh, for proxies, I'm using private proxies. Uh, you can also buy proxies on GoLogin. I will go over that as well. You can just buy those proxies here and buy either residential or mobiles. But what I'm doing right now, I'm buying them here on private proxy. I'm just used to it. So uh, if I just log in, I will show you which I'm buying. I'm buying residential proxies. So if you go to my prox uh, buy proxies and go into uh, here, you can select static residential proxies and you can just buy them here. Okay, so that's simple. And what you can do if like I'm using residential proxies, but you can also use mobile proxies. They're a little bit more safe, but they are a little bit more expensive. So like it's up to you if you want to use those or those, but uh, static residential work. So that's why I'm using them and they are cheaper. So that's the next step. And step three is to download anti detect browser to actually manage all those accounts. Like, like let's say go login. So we can go over that right now. So we'll just go here. Uh, continue with your Google account or with your email and then you can either use their uh, web browser or download their app. That's what I have done here. And let me show you how it works. So once you have downloaded, it will look like this and you will just add your new profile. So I have created like this folder for this video. But if you want to create new profile, you will just click on add profile. Right now I will re rename it. Okay, I can say like account one or something. I, I usually name, name those after the Twitter account that I named the account. So then I yeah, just click on run. And right now we can see it have opened this browser account one. OK, so right now I can log in the X account to it. But before that, you actually want uh, to get the proxy into this this browser. So it's actually on that IP address. So if you go to settings uh, and go to proxy, you can actually I think where, where is it? If I go, I think you need to either go here and uh, uh, 
I'm not sure if you can change it right now, but we should probably add it when we were adding the profile. So if I go add, yeah, you can see it right now. If I click on add profile right now, I can say account one or right now, let's say two. And here is the proxy overview and here is the proxy. So right now here we can actually add the proxy. So uh, if you go actually to the proxies and I just right now click here on get proxy list, it will give you the data that you can actually paste here the, uh, the login information, password, and IP address and port. So you will just get it here if I click here. But if I would share it to you right now, you can then use my proxies and they become worthless. So that's why I am not showing them. Then you just click on check proxy and actually create the profile. So that's how you add the proxy. And right now we will just repeat the process 15 times. So we will just create 15 profiles. So, so just account three, account four, account five, account six, until you, click, until you create 15 profiles with each proxy. And then you can log in those X accounts that you have got into those. So then uh, once you have that, you can we can, for example, run account two, and then I can go to X.com. And then I can, okay, hello. And then I can just uh, log in into my account, okay? So then once you have that, you can log in into the account and you can then set it up like this. Once you actually log in into the account, it will be blank. There will be no followers, no profile picture, no anything. So you will have to do those things. So how do I actually set this up? So uh, we already have all those proxies on all profiles on GoLogin. Uh, you have created 15 of them. You have logged in each X account to that. So right now let's set up those Twitter accounts. So for the profile pictures, you can use Midjourney just to generate those. Go to Midjourney. Mid mid uh, you can generate those here if you log in into it, uh, I think. Let, let me maybe log in. Uh, um. Yeah, you can see that uh, you can, if, if you use like some right, right prompt, for example, some, some in, I, I was just experimenting with that, so you can experiment a bit as well. You can create some really cool profile pictures that look real so you can pick some of those and then just use them. Or you can just go on Facebook or Twitter and just take some profile pictures and upload them there. It doesn't doesn't really matter that much. But that's where you get the profile picture. Then for the banner, you can just get it on Twitter or just make it in Canva or like in Canva you can just create those banners or get it on X. And then for the bio, just like something relevant to your profile, then change the name and um, buy some followers. I usually buy followers on this website, SMM Lite. And I just buy, buy there, I think, uh, let, let, let me show you which one I'm exactly buying so you don't have to struggle with that. I'm buying, uh, let's find Twitter. Somewhere should be Twitter. Yeah, Twitter followers and I'm buying UK, US, I think. It's this one, yeah, these ones. It's 4,000 followers, you pay 78 cents, so it's really cheap. So that's which one I am buying, and then the profile can look something like this. But after that, you will need to verify it. So once you have the setup, and then you need to, need to wait three days before it will actually allow you to verify the profile. And then you just you can just verify the profile using a uh, phone, phone number. Like that's, that's how it is working. You can just verify it using phone number. You can use your phone number, but if you are verifying 15 accounts, you need different phone numbers and you can get them here on SMS PVA. So you can just go here, uh, search for Twitter and just buy, let's say I'm buying Spain. So you can just buy one time phone number, just put it there, verify it. It's simple. I'm not going over that right now because it's really simple to do. But once you have that, you can verify it and then just wait a few days and the account look like this. So right now you have this set up and you can start sending out those DMs. So right now, how do we send out those DMs, okay? So go login, I, I think you guys, everything understand how this works. So you will have just 15 profiles here on each profile, different proxy and different Twitter account. So on each profile, you have one proxy and one Twitter account, okay? So you will have 15 of those. And then on each, it, you will have profile like this and how to actually run the automation. So the automation tool that I'm using this actually our, our own tool is called xreacher.com. And once you log in or sign up, we actually have free version as well. You can just go into it and start new campaign. So I have already connected, connected the accounts in the profile, which is a quick tutorial here. It's, it's really simple to connect those accounts, but 
uh, let's start the campaign. So here I will click on start new and name the campaign. I will just name it, uh, I don't know, uh, SaaS because I want to target SaaSes. And right now I will add profile to script from. So if I go on uh, on Twitter and let's say I want to target SaaSes, I want to send DMs to SaaSes, I can search up for SaaS. Uh, for example, this guy, a lot of people that are into SaaS are following him, so I can take his profile, place it here. Right now I've added that profile and I can message all of his followers. But what I want to do, I want to go to filters and only message people that have SaaS in bio or startup in bio or founder in bio or CEO and that's, that's everything. And let's say I don't want people that have Bitcoin in bio to message it. And let's say that I want only people that have more than 100 followers and that's everything. And right now for the message, I can just say a uh, message like this. Uh, hi, name. Uh, I partner with SaaSes that can and we can send 100,000 DMs per month from my verified X accounts. Is it worth for convo? Save it. And I can create other variation of it. And so what it will do right now, if I just select the accounts that I want, let's say I also want to select four accounts and send 450 DMs per day, it will go through this guy and it will go through all of his followers. Okay, so uh, if I go back, it will mess it, it will go through all of his followers and only message people that have SaaS, startup, founder or CEO in bio and have more than 100 followers. And it will send this message to all of those people. Okay. And then here in options, I just select the accounts that I want to start a campaign with. This is uh, Jonathan Bryan. So just let's, uh, let's select him. I think I didn't, did I add him or not? Um, I think I didn't add that account before, but I can add, let, let's say this one. So Samuel as well. So let's say Samuel and this guy. So these two accounts and I want to send 450 DMs per day. Skip previous DM and then I just start the campaign. Okay. And that's basically for it. So I have right now started campaign from two, two accounts. I have then start, I can then start another campaign from another two accounts and then start like five or 10 campaigns up to you. And then you can start sending those DMs in a few minutes. It should start actually sending and we can check it out then here in a, in the messages. So let's wait for that. And that's, that's basically for it. That then what you can also do, you can delegate those accounts to one account. So for example, if I wouldn't want to manage it, all of those accounts right now, I have logged them on the go login. I don't want to manage them all through, you know, opening each browser each time. And I just want to open one browser. You can do, you can go to profile, uh, I mean to settings and go to the security account access, delegate. And here you can say, allow other members to invite you to their account. And if I go and copy this name and go, for example, to Jonathan and go to settings as well, I can go to account access, delegate, and I can invite other team members. So I can invite, for example, the Samuel. Okay. And I can say contributor or admin doesn't really matter. Then I can invite another person, let's say this guy. And then I can manage basically all of, all of those accounts from one main account. Um, I, I probably need to allow this account to invite delegation as well. So if I go to account access, delegate, allow, and right now we can do it. So invite member, we need to probably reset it. Invite. Okay. It doesn't show him right now, but it will probably take some time, but then you can just delegate it. Now, if I go to this account notifications, I can just ac accept this delegation. And if I'm right now here on the, on the Jonathan, I can then just switch to the different accounts or on Samuel, I think I can just switch to the different accounts like this and I don't need to open multiple browsers, but it might be like, it might help you to get those accounts suspended if they are connected to each other. So I don't actually do it that often. So that's why I'm saying that it's only optional. It like d don't get you suspended or restricted, restricted immediately, but maybe after a few months, there can be like some issues with that. So that's what, why I'm not delegating those accounts. But if you just have them on all on GoLogin, just open 
each time all 15 of them just start campaigns send out those dms then you can just open all of them and just reply to all of those dms and yeah that, that's it you are sending if you start campaigns on all of those accounts you are sending 6750 dms per day it's like 200,000 cold dms per month and you are running and here you have this document that i'm showing you right now you have it in the description of this video so you can just open it go over it and set it up yourself okay if you would want some help with that you can book a call with me i will leave a calendar link probably in the description for if you would want me to set it up and manage it all for you we can do that we can jump on a call but yeah that's that's everything for this video guys i will probably leave some uh some discount links here so you can actually click on it and get some discounts i believe there's some affiliate if i found it but yeah that's everything if you want some help with that you can book a call with me and see you guys in the next video start sending those dms